John Paul II's trips, Benedict XVI's publications, and Pope Francis' homilies at Casa Santa Marta have one thing in common. Although each pontiff has his own style, everything they say publicly ultimately falls under Vatican communication. And that's precisely the main idea of a new book which highlights 50 years of the Holy See's communications. Everything that's directed to an audience and everything that's public regarding popes or even the church is communication. And all communication carries a message. Everything that has a value and a connection is part of the communication world. The author, Angelo Celso, knows this from experience. He's the subdirector of the Vatican's press office. And during the book's presentation, he was also accompanied by other key communicators, like Vatican spokesperson Father Federico Lombardi, and his predecessor, Joaquin Navarro Valls. The book title translates to Peter's pen. It tells the story of how the church has communicated its message of faith in the past half century. It's an ambitious goal that with new technologies becomes even more of a challenge. Also because not all Vatican communications come from within the Holy See, and they definitely don't stay within Vatican walls. It's a papal service, but it can be carried out better if it also serves secular communications, the ones directed to the Vatican from outside. Vatican Radio, Vatican's television service, and even the Pope's Twitter account have all been part of different pontificates. But the title of the book explains why they're all connected. In essence, they're all written with St. Peter's pen.